Oh, welcome back everyone to my channel. I've been pretty excited. I don't know why it's so long there. I survived week one, bless, and it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Don't get me wrong, it was very hard to not eat everything um, that was dairy and or meat product. But it was a lot easier because it's pretty incredible how much less you can eat when your bulk is starches which is the whole premise of the starch solution which is a vegan program vegan whole foods plant-based low fat way of eating i want to call it a diet because it's like a diet is the foods that you eat but i don't want to call it a diet because it's not like a trend i made a commitment to myself to be vegan forever to maintain health because it doesn't make any sense to start being vegan and having all these good side effects if in a month I'm gonna eat all the bacons. I will be vegan forever. I've decided to post once a week to not get crazy and see how it goes. One, because I don't wanna wear you out on veganism, but um, I wanna be consistent. So I think I'm gonna try some vlogging even though there's coronavirus going on, if you didn't know. And it's not like we can go to a lot of places, but if I do go anywhere to eat out, or if we do take in, then I will film that and give a review, like just like what I think about it, and to see if it's like palatable. Cause sometimes it doesn't taste so good, some things. My husband is being vegan too, or is a vegan too, <laughs> cause he's not being vegan. And he will do a weight loss after 12 days because just suggested that we don't use a lot of like meat replacement products or dairy replacement products just to kind of like cleanse our system from all the craziness. So we've only had like regular tofu, like a block of it, but it's not processed. It's just soyness in water. So I wanted to weigh myself after seven days after the week to encourage myself even though i said it's not about the scale it is gonna be like just honestly about the scale probably in the beginning until i can kind of see some more physical changes to really motivate me i did lose eight pounds this week which is very exciting because i was never hungry like not even one time actually I, I, let me let me rephrase i was hungry but if I felt hungry, I was allowed to eat, which is like mind blowing. Cause usually when you're on a restrictive diet, you are hungry and you can only drink water or um, eat like non-starchy vegetables or things like that. And with being vegan and specifically focusing on consuming more starches, I could have a piece of bread and it would fill me up and I'll be super good and I didn't feel like I was dying of hunger or I felt like I could not go on. So that was really encouraging and totally doable because I love carbs. I can't say that enough. So yeah, I lost eight pounds, which was really cool. I have noticed also that I am sleeping better and have a lot more energy. I have, I usually drink at least one cup of coffee a day. Two cups is usually my max, unless it's a crazy day. And it's usually in the morning time, like before two-ish. I guess that's not morning, but you know. One is because I'm like dragging to get up, dragging forever. If you know me in real life, you know I am not a morning person, not even a little bit. I normally have to have coffee to wake me up. This week, I think I should start documenting it, but I think I had coffee like twice, which is bonkers. Um, I definitely have noticed like an increase in energy. Even when I walk in the morning, I normally walk like a mile and a half or at least 30 minutes. And like this morning I walked and I did a mile and I did 30 minutes and I just kept on walking. But so far so good. I've loved the energy increase. I haven't seen any like body changes like I said. I expected to wake up like 10 sizes smaller, which I did not, but I do 
feel not so puffy. <laughs> it feels pretty comfortable like sitting and normal things and it could be mental, but I'm feeling really good about being vegan. So, so far my family has been pretty accepting. My mom and my husband's, you know, parents are a little confused about where we get our protein. So I had to explain that to them. Also that we're not eating any milk for your bones and all those things. But I told them rest assured, we're getting enough nutrients via the plants of the land and we'll be fine. I really wish there wasn't coronavirus in general, but also more so because I would have loved to get my blood pressure taken and my blood drawn to see like all my sugars or cholesterols so that I could, you know, compare it in a couple weeks to see how this is affecting me on a biological level and just, you know, to have some extra tangible proof that veganism is the way to go. I did mention in my last video that we were using honey, which is not vegan. So we did buy maple syrup to put on all our oats. And we have oats about every day. And they haven't gotten boring yet, thank goodness, because it's only been one week. But we just kind of changed up what we like to put in it. So here is a quick video of what my oats look like today. Yum mango. So I just wanted to recap what we put in our oats, just in case you want to make them yourself, or if you just want to know. It's rolled oats with mango and banana, and we do chia seeds, flax seeds. I don't think we did hemp hearts. Maybe we'll do that next week with oat milk on top, it's super creamy, Ooh, so good. And now we put a little bit of maple syrup on top. My husband really likes PB2 powder because he loves peanut butter and I don't normally put that. I did, however, do cacao powder. I'll insert a photo, but that was so bitter. We put too much, let me just say. And. I think that's it. Oh, and then we usually do a tablespoon of some sort of dried something. So this week we had dried cherries or dried blueberries, which were so good. We're still putting some sort of nut. We feel a little bit more satiated when we have a little more sustenance for us. And my husband loves adding those kinds of things into his oatmeal. Then we had um, friends come over, well family, and we gave them some snacks and they are also trying to be vegan. We do have some snacks for non-vegan friends who come visit us. We had some popcorn that had butter and some hot Cheetos, but we can't eat them. So we we're gonna offer them that, but they wanted to try some vegan snacks. So we made our super, <laughs> we didn't make really anything. I just reheated some rice that we had from the night before and with some seaweed papers and the best seaweed papers are from Costco. You can get lots of different versions, but this one has like the best salt and the best roasted flavor, in my opinion. So we gave them some rice and seaweed and sriracha and they loved it. <laughs> Then one of our super favorite meals has been Vietnamese food, which we already loved, but it's really nice to have some vegan options. So when we order, we get a tofu banh mi and then an order of tofu spring rolls, which are so good with the peanut sauce. And it is like heaven. It's so filling and so delicious and so flavorful. It is keeping us alive. Just kidding, but it is one of our favorite things to eat. And it's really convenient because there's a lot of places around here. We do need to find a legit vegan Vietnamese place 
that has more than just tofu. Before we moved from Seattle, we found the best Vietnamese place in all the land. And they had not only tofu everything, but they had vegan beef, vegan chicken. <sighs> it was unreal, it was so good. So we need to find the same thing, but here in San Diego, desperately. We just need to look, but we haven't been super motivated because of Corona. We just make sure when we order the banh mi that we ask for no mayo, because sometimes they have that, and also no pate, because they also sometimes have that. Because sometimes they think we're saying we want a veggie thing, but we want a vegan thing. You know what I mean? That's my recap from week one. We're doing well. We are feeling healthy. We look forward to learning more recipes and I look forward to sharing my journey with you and having you follow along as we discover this veganity life that we started. I really appreciate you following and subscribing to my channel if you love it and you like what you hear and what you see. Thanks guys, bye.